Hello and welcome back to Deliver Us the Moon. We are once again trying to make our way, without suffocating, back into the base so we can head down to the moon, the lunar surface. At least that's what I hope is happening here. Somehow I guess I had missed this before that this door was just open. Uh, and all we have to do probably is hit that button, right? And down we go! To the lunar surface? Are we gonna go finally find out what happened to all of those colonizers that are now missing? I think that is exactly what's happening. I don't know how I missed that before. I just thought the door was shut when I came in the first time. But it turns out that it was not. It was very much open. And now, down we go to see the fruits of our labor. How bad are things down there? Only one way to find out, I suppose. All right, we need to go to the MPT Control Center to retrieve an ASE unit to gain access to the MPT Control Center. Right, okay, that's what we gotta do. Where's this open door at? Do I have to push, push the button? All right, doors are allegedly open. Which doors? Run in a circle. There we go, we found it. Copernicus Moon Hub, 2059, five years after the blackout, and things don't look that great, but oh man, what a view. So this place looks long abandoned, but it was a very cool base when it was operational, I suppose. Why is stuff thrown about, though? A gift wrapped, a gift wrapped book. ASC, the software behind your faithful companion. Oh. Dear Sarah, I found this book and thought you might like it. Please accept it as a thank you for all the emotions you programmed into my ASC. May this book inspire you to program many more. With kind regards, Rosa Laverde. So it looks like we're going to get our own little uh, Wheatley-like unit here. Hello? Hello? It seems empty. Where is everyone? I have no idea. I've never seen the base like this. Is Alex getting any heat signatures? No, nothing. This can't be right. I'll go downstairs, see what I can find. Sarah, we'll figure this one out. And thank you, both of you, for saving me when the blackout hit. I know I am. Um... team, you must be at the surface by now. Remember, you only have 40 minutes down there. Copy that, Pearson. Don't mention it, Rolf. Can you check out the control center and see what's wrong with the MPT? Will do. Keep your comms on. I'll update you when I find something. I forget, why did they only have 40 minutes? Was it just a, a power or air oxygen kind of thing? Council Private Quarters, Isaac Johnson, Lead Lunar Engineering MPT Supervision. Oh, very neat. I would love to scan it. Thank you. Kathy's place. Isaac was devastated when he learned of his wife's death in a dust storm on Earth in 2049. Unwilling to keep his daughters exposed to Earth's worsening conditions, he summoned them to join him on the moon. Claire refused out of concern out of Kathy's health and looked after her sister until Isaac exerted his influence to gain legal guardianship over Kathy. Kathy was brought to the moon soon after. And it seems like she may no longer be alive if that's the case. That is sad indeed. Claire, next to a rocket. Is that all there was in here? Just uh, one thing to scan? Oh, there's something to inspect. Fluoxetine. Antidepressants. Well, okay, so I guess Isaac or Kathy was on antidepressants. Might be something to look at in the future here. William MacArthur, Security and Transport Supervision. Whoa. 
World Secret Service. There, there's a worldwide organization, Secret Service. This is to certify that Chief Operations Director W. MacArthur was honorably discharged from the World Secret Service for years of excellence, diligence, and distinguished service. Okay, so you were in the World Secret Service, whatever that is. September 23rd, 2054. MacArthur. Brief update. The evacuees from Tomba are settled in. MacArthur. The bedlam at Tomba can never happen again. I'll have no part in that. Isaac Johnson, Lunar Council. September 23rd, 2054. Isaac. Good, then we can begin soon. Time for them to make a decision. Remember that no leap forward has ever come without a sacrifice, Isaac. Survival comes at a cost. Soon the events at Tombow will just be a faint memory. Time to leave this all behind. William MacArthur, Lunar Council. Council, even. Not council. I don't know what kind of accent I was throwing on there by accident, but... Uh, let me just take the stink right out of it real quick. Rosa Laverde, Lead Lunar Research Division. Okay, so she's the one that gave that book as a gift. Man, they got some big old screens in here. October 30th, 2028. WSA recruits top scientists to Lunar Council. Oh, this is a, a long read. How hopeful we were. Uh, if you want to read that, go ahead. I'm not going to take up all of your time reading that. Just go ahead and pause and read. Uh, if not, then let's continue on. Objective, NPC 100% Earth coverage. Well, yeah, I would imagine that would be the goal. I thought that was achieved already. Right, the network's offline, I know that. Station power is very low. Oh, look how beautiful it is, though. So the other concerning thing is that we haven't seen any dead bodies. Nothing. And somebody left their speech notes up here. Speech, Crossroads, Tumba, Earth. The best and brightest, the new age, outward. Underlined outward, by the way. Council. This is where the council met, I guess. William MacArthur. Uh, we can't get in there. It's closed. As is Isaac's council room, but not this one. Rosa Laverde, why are there like holograms in here? What is this? What am I looking at here? William, what the hell was that speech about? Our next chapter, Rosa. It's time. The ships will be ready soon. You can't be serious. I don't know how you plan to fix this mess, but you'd better do it now. That won't be necessary. Come with me. You are serious. Will, have you lost your mind? We can leave the colony behind like this, not during this blackout. Not with the MPT signal still offline. People on Earth depend on us. Don't concern yourself with them. Those days are over. We have to start the long journey ahead. That was the agreement. The ships were supposed to be our last resort. We didn't give up the first time, and we are not giving up now. When the network is back online, we can provide Earth with power again. We are close, William. No, we're not. We're not close at all. If you still think we can power the entirety of Earth with the MPT, you're more delusional than I thought. We have one last hope, and it's outward. Now get ready, because we're going. I'm not leaving, Will. Not like this. I'm not asking. Get her on the ship. What? Uh, is this really... <sighs> Interesting. So, outward underlined actually was important, as I thought it might be. They left and abandoned the project to power the Earth. They just abandoned the entire Earth, more or less. That was The holograms were set up previously, if you recall, in some of the data pads that we read where you can only access those holograms if you're in the uh, same area as where those things occurred. Uh, clearly, we need to pick up this little fellow here. I don't know what good he's going to do us just yet, but I suppose we will find out. I think we need to use him to get into the command center, is that right? I think that's what it said previously. I'm gonna turn my flashlight, it's a little bit dark. There's maintenance. Stairs, I don't know where the stairs take us. Can I get into the stairs using this little fellow here? I've got one of those. 
Here's one. Got an ASE. ASE not working. What about maintenance? Can I maintain you? <laughs> Can I perform maintenance to make you work again, please? Oh, this whole place is beautiful. So that means we're going to have to go out and find where they went. And maybe recover that scientist to help us power things again. What in the world is this? Oh, I see. Uh, can I put you down? I can't put you down. I have to put you somewhere first. Ah, right here. Clearly. Perfect. Initiating AZ maintenance protocol. Running AZ hardware diagnostic. AZ connection to Luna facility network. Failed. AZ network access port status. Defective. Component replacement is advised. Component replacement, you say? What about this? One of three components necessary for replacing the ASE's unit network access port. Okay, well I'll go ahead and take that, thank you. That's number one, and I'm assuming there's going to be one in here as well. Or not, you know, just kind of blew that open for no reason. I have no clue. I think I have to put the ASC in there later after I've got him fixed up. So I've got one part, but we're going to have to find the next two or next one next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please join me in the next episode. And you guys have a good one.